Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Sunday evening, I am whooped, tired, and soaked. Been out working in the yard, working in the chickens, working with the roosters. This is what we are dealing with this afternoon. And just a late Sunday afternoon, rainy day. And I will show you what we are working on. Some of the stuff, you know, you've been watching. We're trying to pack this thing up. This, uh, uh, the tiny house, the studio, the building. And trying to get everything packed up and cleaned up and put in. And so it's just becoming kind of a jumble. But we're, we're having to do it for a few reasons. Um... We're getting everything packed into here that is in excess, like, you know, all the coffee mate, uh, you know, a couple of hundred bags of salt, or a couple hundred pounds of salt, coconut oil, just different stuff as we're trying to get, uh, put everything up and away, a gallon of uh, honey, kind of a funny story with the honey. I had three quarters of a gallon of honey organic locally grown with comb that I've been buying from local people and my wife went and bought some because she said I need some honey I said well you need to go buy some honey and she said oh okay and so she went and bought some and so I took her honey and then I replaced it with Popeye's chicken honey packets she'll notice it later it will be fantastic don't worry and I did want to show you something interesting we've been doing a lot of dehydrating uh, the pears apples stuff like that that's on the property have not done a lot of uh, pressure canning this year so far but I want to show you this these two quart size bags that are not completely full five pounds of gala apples large apples it's a five pound bag of gala apples that have been reduced to two quart bags I have not eaten four or five pieces from out of there how about that that is the nice thing in relation to the uh, uh, pressure canning which that you know that's good but it's a lot of weight so I'm going to look to be doing a lot more of these and we're actually going to start vacuum sealing a lot of these to extend the shelf life. These guys, uh, I put some oxygen absorbers or, and moisture absorbers in them. Eh, maybe a year, but honestly, we're going to eat these things up by the end of the week uh, because we love this kind of stuff. So, something that we are working on. Um, everything is always in flux. We're just getting everything out of the house I told you I had a lot of prepping crap everything out of the house coming into here and uh, we're splitting it into a third between here and two other places uh, that we have so we have a buttload of preps uh, which is fantastic it's good stuff because I'm prepping for I don't know North America something like that seems like it anyway more to come guys Okay, guys, now we're back in. Again, I just kind of want to pan around and show you uh, everything. Uh, this is one of my projects that we're working on. These are whole oats that have not been separated from their husks, from the chaff. And so we're working on a project to uh, separate them reasonably easily. And then you could actually make steel cut oats or 24 hour oats. A uh, $12, 50 pound bag of oats would last you a very, very, very long time. And uh, it's a hearty filling breakfast. So, something that we're working on, trying to get perfected. Um, and it is going fairly well. So, you could buy 10 bags of that, and that would last. For a very long time, take two bags of those, and you can use them to plant. And then, out of those ten, 
uh, bags that you had, two bags that you planted. You probably have enough 50 that grew from the two bags. It's the kind of stuff that we're working on. Um, more to come, guys. Okay, guys, now we're back and I'm going to show you uh, how we're looking to do the uh, uh, ceiling and insulation because I think the roof. The hooch is on board with the roof installation ceiling. Uh, up to that joist right there, we're going to just do the insulation, uh, 24 inch stuff, and then we'll go across and down, and we'll do the insulation across there, and then we'll probably do, like I said, some kind of galvanized, uh, galvanized metal corrugated all the way across that way we can accommodate the bins and I think that would be decent enough and then we'll hang a ceiling fan right in the center so that is the thunk work out okay guys now we're back but in and amongst all of this these are our food preps which Ain't knocking it, and, and, you know, like I said, we're, and we're separating everything out, but this is just food preps. This is water, hygiene, <clears throat> medical, safety stuff that's kept somewhere else. And, and it makes me feel good in a way because we have so much, but then it's kind of overwhelming because we have so much. Um, so it's something we're going to have to work on and get everything situated and streamlined and everything. Um, but uh, I do have to say thank you guys for coming along on this crazy journey. Thank you for watching and participating in everything. I really appreciate it. In just a second, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop over here as well as my beautiful wife on the opposite side. Give me some videos. We are indeed your brand of wacky. Rainy Sunday evening. I am whooped and tired. I think we're having spaghetti. Take care of you people, guys.